what took a bite right out of dinosaur history, the unsweet truth about cookies and cancer, here goes the future of weather monitoring and doggy see doggy do on the Daily Orbit. Hello and welcome to the Daily Orbit, I'm Emerald Robinson. There's a tooth in my booty. There's little more telling than that. Researchers recently discovered a fossilized T-Rex tooth embedded in the tail vertebrae of a duck-billed dinosaur. Good news? The wound had healed, meaning the duck dino survived the encounter with the ferocious Tyrannosaurus rex some 65 million years ago. But surprisingly, this is the first hardcore evidence that T-Rex was indeed a hunter, and not just a scavenger, as some scientists have argued. I like how one researcher put it, this is not just the smoking gun, we've actually found the bullet. Whew. Well done. And from a duck-billed dino to another one with the big snout, researchers have uncovered a two-ton, 15-foot-long, big-nosed and horned dinosaur in Utah's fossil-rich canyon country. The dino, called Nasutoceratops tatusi, is a cousin to the Triceratops and belonged to the Ceratopsids family. It's the third new species of big-bodied horned dinos found in the area in the last two years. It lived in the late Cretaceous period about 100 million to 66 million years ago. Researchers expect to find a number of new species that belong to this group in the Utah area. My name suggestion? Gonzo Dino. And here's a link researchers feel sure they have right, cancer and sweets. The sugary delicacies may taste sweet to the taste buds, but are not so good for the digestive system. A new study showed that sugary foods such as candies, cookies, and soft drinks can increase a person's risk of developing bowel cancer. The study is the first to link diets high in sugar and fat with colorectal cancer, which accounts for 9.7% of all cancer cases and 8% of all cancer-related deaths. They said their find merits further investigation using large population studies. That's not so sweet. And here goes the next generation of weather forecasting. The next generation of NOAA's GOES satellite, GOESAR, will have the ability to take full disk images of Earth at five minute intervals. The R series of GOES satellites are scheduled to launch in 2015 and will be the primary tool for the detection and tracking of hurricanes and severe weather. The new technology will snap images of everything it can see in the same length of time it takes the current GOES satellite to capture a small image of a stormy region. This one big shot every five minutes will enable simultaneous rapid regional coverage and continuous hemispheric weather monitoring, making it better able to see thunderstorm development with greater detail than before, meaning an earlier warning system for weather-related events. Does that mean they might actually get the weather report right from now on? You put your right hand in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey. Okay. So it sounds hokey, but doggy see, doggy do. New research reveals that dogs can observe, learn, retain, and replicate actions taught to them by humans. The study found that when dogs learned a new action from a human, they tended to be able to repeat the action on command, following a delay of anywhere from 40 seconds to 10 minutes, even while they were distracted by different activities during their break period. Researchers said this ability to encode and recall an action after delay implies that dogs have a mental representation of the human demonstration and long-term memory. Well, some dogs do anyway. Roll over. I said roll over. Maybe it's just me. And that's it for the Daily Orbit. See you here tomorrow. Come on, roll.